keyboard shortcuts are an important part of any software application. They can definitely speed up your ability to use the software. Some of our common ones, if we think about just select, let's Q on the keyboard. W is move. E is rotate. R is scale. We skip the T key, and then we go to Y for select and place. Now, we skip the T key because we hit the T key. Whatever viewport is active becomes the top view. So if I want to go back to the front view, hit the F. If I want to switch maybe this to a front view also, so I can be zoomed in looking at a different part of the view, that's great. Then I can always hit L to go back to my left view. All of those different standard viewports are also available. If I just click on the word left, I can see all my basic viewports. Then from there, Alt W will toggle the full screen view. If I have an object selected, Alt X toggles see through, so I can see through that object to another object. It also turns it back off. Then let's see, Shift F brings up our safe frames. So now with this little extra yellow box around here, I know exactly what I would see in the render. Here without safe frames turned on, I have a slightly different view of my world. With safe frames turned on, again, that's exactly what's gonna show up in my rendered image. So keyboard shortcuts can actually be incredibly helpful. I suggest people learn keyboard shortcuts for tools that they consistently drive to the menu for. So if you're driving up here to get these tools, like select all, select none, select invert, then it makes sense to start worrying about keyboard shortcuts. For me, normally, I don't use the keyboard shortcuts to move between move, rotate, and scale. I almost always do that with my right-click menu. There's no absolute, though. If I'm working in this viewport right next to it, I might grab and click on them there rather than the right-click menu. I just try to be as efficient as I possibly can while I'm working. So again, that means that for certain things, I'm going to try to remember keyboard shortcuts. Not everything. Some things, you just can't remember all of the keyboard shortcuts for an application, so you're better off not trying. Use the keyboard shortcuts that you're going to use often enough to make it worth remembering.